Last week in San Antonio, Texas, a city worker alerted law enforcement to what would become one of the deadliest tragedies in the history of people crossing into the United States. Federal authorities charged four men in the deadly smuggling operation where migrants packed into a trailer had neither water nor air conditioning when the driver abandoned them before fleeing on foot. This all comes in the same week that the U.S. Supreme Court ruled against a Trump-era policy called Migrant Protection Protocols, or MPP, more commonly known as Remain in Mexico. Overruling the decision hands a win to President Joe Biden and signals the end of a policy that forced thousands of migrants to wait in Mexico pending U.S. courts processing their cases, often leading to extreme and sometimes hazardous measures taken to reach U.S. soil. We were very pleased with the Supreme Court's decision um, uh, supporting uh, our commitment to end the Remain in Mexico uh, program, which has endemic flaws and causes unjustifiable human tragedy. Uh, we need to wait until the Supreme Court's decision is uh, actually communicated to the lower court. A process Mayorkas says could take several weeks. The ruling comes as hundreds of thousands of migrants this year have sought to cross into the United States through its southern border. Texas Governor Greg Abbott says state law enforcement will increase truck checkpoints to avoid a future tragedy like the one in San Antonio. He also says the Biden administration shoulders the blame. Many of these deaths could be prevented if Biden simply fully funded the Border Patrol operation of the United States of America and implemented the policies that the Border Patrol needs in order to do their real job. And the real job is not the paper processing work that they've been assigned to do. The real job is both to secure the border as well as to do things like inspect the vehicle that was carrying those people who lost their lives. While the Remain in Mexico policy appears soon to end another controversial Trump-era policy that has blocked many migrants from entering the U.S., part of a public health measure in response to the coronavirus pandemic, remains in effect. Mexico's President Andres Manuel López Obrador this week at a news conference announced plans to meet with President Biden to discuss migration July 12th. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.